Hello everyone, welcome to ROG Brotech. Uh, this is just a, like a sister channel or branch off channel to uh, my main channel, Rose of Green, which you will find down in the description. That's where I like to uh, grow plants and do some gardening and other stuff. But um, this is uh, my review channel. I decided to separate the channels a little while back uh, because people weren't feeling the reviews all that much. And I just thought it would be better just to have a separate channel. So, so far we've only done lighting on this channel, but uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of other stuff. I might do some fans and uh, other things like that. But for now, we have this here. And uh, this is the Octopus G8. And it's by uh, Horta Best. Uh, you could find these in Canada at uh, IndoorGrowingCanada.com. I will put the link down in the description. Or you could visit the United States site. And uh, that there is uh, HortaBest.com. So you could check that out. Anyway, uh, this is the light here. The overall dimensions of this light are uh, 43 inches by 42.7 inches by 2.8 inches. So it's pretty sleek. Uh, we have the driver inside of uh, a casing there. But uh, let's start off here with what it comes with. It comes with uh, your manufacturer's recommendations. Uh, so just your warnings and your hang, uh, how you use two rope ratchets to hang it, and uh, just other overall stuff about the unit, the wiring, the plugs, um, just more warnings, not to touch diodes, and so on. So anyway, we're just going to toss that. Um, I'm sorry this is, isn't in the box, it was just too much to uh, do, but I will tell you that this came wrapped in plastic, and it also came with more styrofoam on each end. Um, I'm going to open this up here now, I'll open it like that, pull it back, and it comes with these good foam blocks. Here. Okay, so they kind of have this, the wiring uh, built into this box. So you just take it out like that. That's your wiring there. Uh, it comes with an extra plug. Um, I'm thinking it's European. It looks a little small to be a, um, a bigger wattage plug. So I'm thinking uh, European. I'm not quite sure, but if anyone knows in the description, let me know what, uh, what country this plug's for. Uh, and it comes with... Two ratchet straps. Um, I recommend that you give us four ratchet straps for this light. It's a lot easier hanging with four. Um, that's just a suggestion to the company if you are watching. So we'll toss that out of the way. Uh, we won't need this right now. And I'm just going to take you off the tripod here. So as I bring you in here, I'm just going to show you that these are Osram chips. Uh, we got our Osram Reds and our Osram Whites. Uh, the overall spectrum of this is a full spectrum light. I believe they say it's a uh, 3200K, but uh, we will check that once we uh, once we hang this unit. We're gonna check the power and the spectrum. So I just want to bring you over here, and I'll show you that uh, it's got a dimmer. Don't mind the light, and then it's got your uh, your daisy chain dimmer. Um, I don't know where the cable is for the daisy chain. They must have missed it in this one or you have to get your own But uh, anyway, we also dim from zero to a hundred So anyway, let's hang this unit and uh, We'll see how she does So here we are. I have the light hung in here. This is in a 4x4 four four tent. I have it at a hundred uh, As you can see it dims from a uh, hundred 80 all the way down to 40 and off and then uh, it's got your extension where you hook that line there into another light and you could dim them together um, I just want to bring you over here and I'll show you guys the wattage so it's pulling uh, 255.3 watts out of the wall I have this unit hung at 23 and a half inches a little bit more than 20 
to three and a half inches. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys that. It's all nice and level. And uh, the unit we will be using today is my Apogee MQ610. It's the extended par um, unit with the new sensor that just came out this year. And it goes from 380 to 760 nanometers. Uh, then for our spectrum and correlated color temperature, I'm gonna be using the spectrometer by Upper Tech. It's called the PAR200. So anyway, let me just set this up and we'll get started. So at 23 and a half inches, it was at 1000 PPFD, but I let it run for a half hour and this is what it dropped down to and leveled out to. Uh, by the touch, it's not very hot. So uh, anyway, in the dead center, we're around 950, 948. Uh, we'll go straight across to the right corner, way up in that corner there, and we're still at 750. I hope you can read that. We will come down the side towards us, and we're staying around 800. And all the way down to this corner. And I have uh, an air vent in the way, so I need to move it out a bit. And we're at about 7.30. So straight up front here, right with the roll of tape, we're at 7.75-ish. I'm just gonna jump over here to this corner. And we're at 700, up to the side, 780. The far corner is about 7.30 straight up across 7.35ish and then back to our center around uh, 9.45 so overall it's pretty good it's pretty uh, as you can see it's it's got a good uh, coverage to it. There's no real crazy hot spots, maybe in the center a bit. This is actually a perfect height, and this is exactly where I would hang it for flower. Uh, sometimes I would like to crank it up. If my plants could take 1200 PPFD, I'll do that. But uh, to be honest, this is about perfect and how I would run this light. So 23 and a half inches would be awesome for flower. Now let's get on with the spectrum test. So what we do here with this thing is this is uh, the spectrometer. Uh, it's a pretty expensive unit. It's called the PAR200. What we do is we turn it on and when we turn it on, it does a dark calibration. Uh, that flashing is from the camera. It's not actually how the unit does it. Uh, it's saying it's doing the dark calibration and now it's saying, okay, it's good. So what I do is I come here and I open up the app and it says it's connecting uh, then it says it's connected okay so then all I do is I bring this unit here I just drop it underneath the light right there should be fine and what I do is I come over here to my basic push this uh, I push this button here and it takes our measurement success and here you can see uh, 938 PPFD uh, if I want to I can save this I go here and I save it and uh, 40 so I just saved it as 40 let's come in here now and we will look at the spectrum So you can see we're good, looking good, high in the reds. Uh, like we said before, it says it's 3200K. So spectrum looks all right. Now let's go and we'll see uh, what it is. And the correlated color temperature is 4000K. 3939. And uh, I could kind of tell when I uh, lit this up because the color in this tent it's not, I would see a little bit of a more red to 
to it so I could tell it was like a higher um, a higher color but anyway we'll come out and now we will look at the CRI that's a color rendering index that's how well that your eye uh, how the light is to your naked eye like how true the color is and 88.61, that's right in line with a lot of all the other lights, and uh, it's pretty good. So uh, this light overall seems like a good light. Uh, you could find it at Indoor Growing Canada. Like I said before, you can use my code Rose of Green for 20 to save. Um, it's an all right light. You could hang it a little bit higher if you're into that, or you could hang it lower and use the dimmer to save on electricity. Um, it doesn't, it's not real hot to the touch or anything. It's actually just warm. It's been plugged in for probably like 35 minutes now. I'll show you how the diodes look underneath. They kind of use a, a pattern. Looks good. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this light review of uh, the Horty Best Octopus. 660 watt and we'll see you guys in the next video peace out